So for this vlog, I just kind of wanted to give you all an update on Angie. Angie is now three months old. I can't believe this little bundle has been with us for three months. In fact, I actually yeah, just took her three month pictures the yeah, other day. Yeah, and if you follow me on Instagram, hey mama's18, you saw that I actually took Ooh, her yeah. three month picture in the exact same yeah. outfit I took Layla's three month picture in. And I put the two pictures next to each other on Instagram and had people guess which one's Layla, which one's Angie. It's funny, when L Angie was first born, I did not think that she and Layla looked anything alike. I thought they looked very different, like especially their nose and their mouth. But now as she's getting a little bit older, I can see the resemblance. So I feel like I've been so busy with other things like homeschooling and I'm, I just kind of haven't done a vlog just on her and giving you all updates on our little baby girl. So this one's all about you, Angie Pie. So I'll start off by saying Angie is three months. She is smiling, she smiles all the time, she has not rolled over yet, but we are doing tummy time and trying to work on that. And in fact, she just woke up and she seems in a good mood, so this is probably a good time to do a little bit of tummy time. Now, tummy time is only a few seconds for her. She does not like it, she gets very upset. So we have to do it many, many times throughout the day. Just short little increments though. Layla is a very supportive big sister and likes to do tummy time with her. This mat is awesome. It's actually one of those foam play mats, but it's made to look kind of like a rug I ordered off the Amazon. So it's very soft for her. Now normally I have a book for her. Oh, look at you too. <laughs> oh, look at that, she's lifting up. Good job. You guys, this is the longest I've seen her do it. This is fantastic. She's starting to grunt a little bit. She might be getting upset. Let's roll over. Good job. You did such a good job, honey. I know that was hard. Oh, look, Layla, you are doing such a good job. Oh, easy peasy for you. Not too long ago, she just discovered her hand. And it's so funny, you just probably saw it. She'll just stare at her hand for the longest time, like, what is this? So I have started using this play mat a lot more. This is the Fisher-Price Kickin' Sound play mat or something, it has a piano on it. Layla actually had the same one. I've read somewhere that, especially at this age, like give them lots of time where they're flat so they can really stretch and kind of uncurl because they're always so curled up. And she does that. When I put her down the ground, she loves it. She gets her arms way out and stretches her legs. So I'm just giving her some time to do that right now. And then we kind of go back and forth between tummy time and this and just trying to see if I can encourage her to eventually start rolling over because they say anytime between two and four months they might start rolling over. And I always try to sit on her right side because last time we went to the doctor for her two month appointment, they showed me that the back of her head was good. Sorry, being interrupted by Layla Jane singing Radio Gaga from Queen. Just a typical morning here. Those who've been watching us for a while knows that Layla loves music, even Queen and some of the old classics. The doctor said that the back of her head looked good. It wasn't like flat, but she definitely favors her left side and it's flatter than her right side. And I'll try to show you guys a video of that. And they said to try to keep her laying on her right side more, to try to even that out. So I'm always trying to like sit on her right side and have her look to me or put her down in front of the TV so she has to look to the right anytime to try to balance her head out. So now on to some things Angie loves. <laughs> she loves this swing. She likes this swing and we have a baby swing too at grandma and grandpa's house and she will swing forever on there. She always falls asleep on it. So it's kind of nice, but it just relaxes her and we're trying to get her early to let her swing because it's been so hot lately. So swinging is something she loves. Just like Layla Jane, she also loves Baby Einstein. It's that show we watch it on Amazon. I'll put it on her Kindle and we'll put it on in the car when we're driving places. And if I just need to get a few things done, I'll put her in her bouncer seat and put Baby Einstein on and she is just so happy and loves it. So engaged. It's just, it's whoever came up with Baby Einstein is a genius and it really does make her so happy and she just loves loves it. Layla loved it too as a baby, so it's really fun to see the similarities between these two. Another thing Angie loves is 
her sister. Loves her sister. They are just inseparable. Every time Layla's up, she wants to be near Angie. Lay Angie could be asleep in my arms, and Layla will come down and start talking, and she just wakes up and just starts looking for her and smiles when she comes up. Yeah. But it's just so cute that they already have such a little special bond, these two. At first, Layla was kind of suffocating <laughs> with Angie, but now she's kind of learned how to be a little more gentle with her, and she loves holding her. And it kind of took us a while to figure out the best way for Layla to hold Angie. We would try having her just do like the regular baby hold, um, where or like hugging her and holding her. And we found out that the best way is when Layla is sitting down and then we set Angie on her. So Angie's still looking out like at me and she'll sit like that forever on Layla's lap. It's so cute. Angie still prefers me pretty much over anyone else. Uh, she's gotten used to grandma and grandpa some, but it still takes a little bit every time she sees them. She doesn't really like anybody else to hold her for long. We're getting there, we're getting better. It's just, I'm with her all the time, so she's used to me. So Angie is bottle fed and I use formula. Usually I use Similac Sensitive. I switched to Sensitive just like I did with Layla because I just felt like it agreed with her better. But I've noticed she's been very constipated lately. So I went to the doctor and they gave me these little samples of Infamil Sensitive Reguline and it helped tremendously. But they're very hard to find. I have to order them from Amazon. So I kind of use a mixture of just regular Infamil sensitive or Similac sensitive. And when I can get the Reguline, I use that too. My doctor said it was okay to kind of be doing that because it's all cow based formula. So and she seems to be tolerating it just fine. But I also have to get her on a probiotic. It's called like BioGaia, I think it's called. And I ordered that from Amazon or from Target. Um, but hopefully, just starting to use the Infamil Reguline a little bit more will get her regular and I won't have to rely so much on the probiotics because they are very, very expensive. It's just like a little tiny thing is like $25. So, but other than that, she loves to eat. She's always eating, um, always down for a bottle. Just turned her around because I noticed I want her to be looking again more to her right. She's watching Baby Einstein. I'm usually always right here with her while she's doing it. Sometimes I have my computer, so I'm getting a little work done, but always right next to her usually. We're getting close to sleep. So I might have to start getting her ready for her next nap. She's usually pretty regimented about every hour and a half, two hours after she wakes up, she's ready for her next nap. And her naps range anywhere from 30 minutes to her longest was three hours. <sighs> All right, that was a rough one. <laughs> I accidentally let Angie get overly tired. And when I do that, she is hard to get down. Um, I started off by just rocking her, tried the bottle. I ended up putting on her weighted sleep sack, the Dreamland baby. One of my friends gave that to me and it does calm her down usually. But even that didn't get her all the way calmed down. I ended up going up to her room and turning the sound machine on. Normally when she's in that mood and I put her sideways, you know, to start rocking her, she gets angry because she knows what's going on. She knows she's about to get to go to sleep. So I eventually had to just kind of put her back up over my shoulder and rock her like that to get her calmed down again. And then once she was calm, I was able to put her back down, give her a little bit of a bottle. And once she was out, I was able to stick her in her snoo and she's down right now. Um, I have the monitor and I have the snoo app. Uh, I, I talked about the snoo in a previous vlog and I was going to do a follow-up vlog to show you, tell you guys how it's been going with that. And we do all of her naps in the snoo and there's only rarely do I carry her around. Like only if I know if I we need to go somewhere, we're gonna be doing something, I'll carry, I'll put her in my carrier and let her nap there. But every nap she goes in the snoo and it's fantastic. With Layla Jane, when she was a baby, we had to hold her every time she slept because she only wanted to be held and same with Angie. But we found the snoo helps her to still sleep without us always holding her. So for those who don't know what a snoo is, it's like this amazing bassinet that when you turn it on, it goes like this and it rocks them 
back and forth. And if they start fussing, it'll go a little bit faster and go to the next level. And you can control it on the app too, if you don't want it to go or if you want it to go higher. And then after five minutes, if the baby is still fussing, you'll get a notification on your phone saying, um, snoo is stopped and you need your care or something. So that usually means, okay, we couldn't get them back to sleep. They're probably hungry, need to be changed, or they just need some extra snuggles. And I will admit we get to that stage a lot. <laughs> um, she just wants extra snuggles, but for the most part, it, it will like get her to sleep. She'll sleep. Like I said, her longest nap has been three hours, like not being held in her bassinet. It took some getting used to. You had to be consistent with it. And we weren't at first, so I was getting frustrated, but we're consistent now and I love it. And we're renting it by the way too. You can buy it, but it's very expensive. So we opted just to rent it and test it out that way. Now at nighttime, it doesn't work as well at night. I find at nighttime, she isn't in, she'll only be in for like maybe two hours and then she gets fussy and then it's hard to get her back in it for some reason. I don't know why it's different at night, but it just hasn't been, I haven't been as consistent because I just get kind of frustrated. I'm like, eh, I'm just gonna do what we're used to. So I need to do better about that and testing it out. But for the naps, it is amazing. I love it. Oh, it says it's smoothing Angie. She might be ready to get up though. We'll see. I know Layla's always just wants to run up there and get her, don't you? I bet the snoo would work a lot more if Layla just let the snoo do its job and try to get her back to sleep. But you know what, she's been asleep for a while, so we might, oh, there's, there goes Layla. All right, Layla, we can get her. She's been asleep for a long time. Oh, turn out the sound machine. Layla knows the drill. Hi. Hello. Hi. Aww. Layla's always getting her undone. You had such a good nap. I can do You can do that one too? Thank you. She is hungry and wanted a bottle. By the way, any of the other moms do this? Hold it with your chin. I do this quite a bit, so I have my hand free. I was just chucking the snoo and she slept for two hours and 30 minutes. Good job, girly. Yay! Oh no. So one thing Layla loves is when I make Angie talk or like make it look like she's walking. So I'm gonna go up and make Angie look like she's hitting the soccer ball. Good job, Angie! Yay! Is your sissy hugging you? Yeah, your sissy, aw, so sweet. Is there anything else you want to tell everyone about you? Yeah. Hey, Layla, what's your favorite thing about Angie? Getting around with the snow and getting close to her. Aww. Oh, and she, yeah, giving her little huggies. Can you say bye-bye? Bye-bye. Thanks for watching All About Me.